What's up guys, Everything Fish. Doing another native fish care video because I haven't done one in a while and figured it was time for the third one because the uh, series is doing well so far. So today, the fish I'll be doing is the Creek Chub. <clears throat> Scientific name is Somatolus atromaculatus. As far as I'm aware, there's no other common names other than Creek Chub. Some people mix them up with fall fish, but they're same genus, separate species. Creek Chubs being the smaller of the two. Family is Saprinidae, which is minnows and carps. Origin, according to the USGS, is most of the eastern United States and southeastern Canada and Atlantic, Great Lakes, Hudson Bay, Mississippi, and Gulf Basins as far west as Manitoba, eastern Manitoba, Wyoming, Colorado, eastern Oklahoma, and eastern Texas, but absent from southern Georgia and peninsular peninsular. Florida, isolated population in Upper Picos and Canadian river systems in New Mexico. <coughs> that was a mouthful. <laughs> it was described by Mitchell in 1818. Minimum tank size, some of the smaller growing individuals only get 6 to 8 inches. So 30 long, which is what these guys are growing out in, would be fine for them. But some of the larger adults are going to need up to a 75 gallon. These can get big. These are big minnows. Maximum size, consequently, is 10 to 14 inches for the larger species. They will get 14 inches. That is not rare if you give them enough time and good enough food. Temperament is semi-aggressive, although they're pretty peaceful among similarly sized fish. Just don't keep them with smaller minnows or delicate darters, stuff like that, because they will try to eat them or kill them. Feeding is omnivorous, give them flake, pellets, bloodworms, blackworms, brine shrimp, insect larvae, earthworm, that's all good for them, pretty much anything they can eat. <coughs> Just give them a good balanced diet with protein and fat. <coughs> Temperature ideally would be 60 to 72, these are a cold water species. You can keep them in warmer water tanks, they'll probably go up to 76, but... 60 to 72 would be ideal. Right now, this tank's probably 68. For the pH, anywhere between 6.5 and 8.5 would be great. 7 to 8 is ideal. These are fairly active fish. Schooling, as you can see. I got three here. They school pretty tight. I used to have four, but actually yesterday, one just jumped out through a covered lid. So. But uh, they're also pretty personable fish. You can see they learn to beg from food, mine, hand feed pretty easily. But even when they're feeding, you got to watch out because these things are jumpers. They will easily get out of a tank if there's not every spot is covered. <laughs> Best tank mates are larger but peaceful native fish such as sunfish, larger darters like log perch, other large minnows, bullheads, and mad toms. <laughs> Probably keep them with bass and perch for a while, but... When those bass and perch get bigger, you can see the chubs are pretty streamlined. They would probably fit in their mouth pretty easily if your fish is big enough. They're not picky with decor, but just somewhere to hide like the driftwood or a rock pile. And some vegetation, whether fake or real. I'll have some plastic plants in here for them. They're not picky. But creek chubs overall, they're a great large schooling minnow that... Add midwater action to larger peaceful native tanks. And that's about it for them. That video is a lot quicker than the other native fish cares I've done. So maybe I can try to stretch it out a little bit. That's pretty much all the facts if that's what you guys are watching this for. I'm just going to talk about my setup here for a couple minutes. This is a 30 long. I have them in with three creek chubs. Here's a green sunfish in them with them for a little while. She's the roller of the tank. And back there, something not many people have in their native tanks. White sucker, he's about 7 inches, maybe 8. Probably at least 7.5 actually. He eats flake too, actually. Got driftwood in here for the chubs to hide under. Hang on back filter, sponge filter. And this is a pretty good setup for them until they get too big. Then they're either going to get a 75 or a 180 gallon. I'm still... Trying to arrange stuff with my tank, so. But this is definitely not their temporary home, so. I won't ramble too long. It's been this native fish care.
going to do uh, species info right now to upload that at the same time. Hopefully, if I have time to upload it tonight. Otherwise, we'll be in a few days. And there should be another native fish care coming once this one gets around 50 views or so. So I'll see you guys next time.